Welcome to Landria on Cotton YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. All right, we're going into advanced manifesting today. All right, I'm going to do something with you, a couple of steps that can change everything from this moment. How can I say that? Well, if you change your thought and you go from a negative thought to a positive one, boom, you are now in a higher frequency. Somebody said, what's the difference between vibration and frequency? A vibration is usually attached to a material item and a frequency is that which is unseen, all right? Well, we're gonna focus on frequencies. Your frequencies are your feelings. We want you to have higher positive feelings because when you have those feelings, you're connecting to higher vibrations and frequencies that create the things that you want and not the things that you don't want, all right? So today, let's talk about how we're gonna do this. I want you to imagine abundance, love, joy as an open cup. Oh yeah, it's open and it's receiving, but it's up here, right? When we have higher thoughts, we're up here. Now you can have an open, beautiful, open cup down here, but what are you gonna catch down here? Maybe, you know, the little catfish and mud puppies or whatever down there and you know, the amoebas and whatever but if you rise above and you're up here in the sky this all probabilities lie there that you desire right the job the abundance the joy the purpose just being a new person and and having meaning in this life that's all up there so we want to raise our frequency up there so that means that we have to catch ourselves in those negative thoughts my three second manifesting Go do it. Three seconds, you can change from a negative to a positive thought. Something that makes you feel good. It's higher and it, and it gets you off of that negative thought that is just really a made-up story in your head, right? So we go over to the positive thought. Great, we're there. Now here's what we do all day, and I want you to really think about this because this is really an accumulative effect. Quantum mechanics shows that the more you focus on something, the more you actually bring it into your reality. A wave is a probability that turns into a particle, which it then turns into something material in our earthly world, right? Our reality. So the more you focus, the more you focus actually what you're believing, you're thinking, you're creating, right? We don't want to do that. We don't want to focus all day on something negative, disbelief. I can't do this. How am I ever going to make that kind of money? How am I ever, I'm never going to get the love of my life, or I'm too old, or I'm too fat, or I'm too whatever, not smart enough. We do it all day long. It's called fear. If you're interested in taking my e-course, go to landrianka.com. We break through it. But today, we're going to talk about this cup of yours. So, all day, I want you to think about what you're putting into that cup. Now, I'm going to use a negative thought as a big old rock. And so all day, most people, they're throwing big old rocks into this cup and it fills up with rocks, right? And they're not up here. They're usually down here somewhere with a bunch of rocks in their cup. And whatever does come in there, trickles in there is really not all that great. If you can clear out your thoughts, then your cup will not only be open, it will be open to all the probabilities. Now, when you have that filled with garbage, you do this. You are blocking everything that you want up here from coming in and you are focused now down here in the lower realms of I'm not good enough, I'm unhappy, life sucks, right? You're down here and you don't even know this exists because you have blocked off your communications with these higher realms that are all up here waiting for you and all you have to do is start saying, I am worthy, I am creating my reality, I'm creating my future. I can have the love of my life because everybody deserves that and I'm one of those people that can deserve that. You're never too old to do things that you love in life. I don't have to listen to what anybody ever told me. I am beautiful, just like everybody else. I'm creating my reality. I'm creating everything, and you open up your cup. You open it up. It is now open and ready to be filled. 
with all these probabilities that are all waiting there to come in. But if you start in with the negative thinking, you go, oh, our bride's filling up with all this garbage. It closes off and boom, you're down here. We want your cup to open up. Open the cup. All right, so I had a exercise with you that I did that I said, you know, just one day we weren't going to think of positive thoughts. We were just going to monitor how we usually think all day. So I had a piece of paper, a line down the middle, right? And then a line across here. And so for every positive thought, you, you stay in neutral, right? You go up, every negative one, you go down. And most people were down, 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 notching, down, down, down. If you had a positive thought, you know, oh, you can notch up here. Well, you might have a couple notches up here, and all the other ones are down here. And so that means your scale's tipping way down like this. What's that mean? Boom, your cup's like this. Your cup fell off the scale, flipped over, and is now laying upside down in the quagmire. When you have positive thoughts, open, 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 then you are opening up to the abundance to the joy, to the love. That's all it is. So instead of just doing a three-second manifesting for once in a while and then spending the rest of your day, let's do it all day long. Is my cup opening up or is my cup closing? Every time you have a negative thought, you're closing closing, closing. So you might get a few things. Some people go, well, I always get, I'll get a few bucks here or there, but I don't get that job I love. Or I get, I date some nice people, but I don't get that ideal person. That's because, you know, you're here and those probabilities are all out there and they can't get in there. What's your cup look like? Mine's full of froth and coffee <laughs> with a little bit of cinnamon on top. Mm. All right. So, is your cup open, waiting to be filled? Because you can create anything you desire. All those probabilities exist right now. All of them, beyond your imagination. Are you gonna open up to them? Are you gonna close up or even try and control them? Sometimes the ego wants to control how it comes and who it is and, and it has to be that person. I have to have that person that I love instead of the ideal person that's for you. Nine times out of ten, that person isn't your ideal person. Well, first of all, if they're not in love with you, they're not the ideal person because they don't care about you. Not the way you care about them. Why not have that perfect love? Why not have that perfect job? It has to be that job. You find out that job was not good for you, and that's probably why you weren't getting it. Because you were asking for a certain thing, and the universe was guiding you to that thing. And you're going, no, it has to be that job. And that isn't the perfect job. So open up. Open up. Don't be afraid. You know, that fear is stopping you. You can click or go down here in the description, go into my breakthrough fear. We're showing people, I'm showing people through this course that took me a year to, to write how to break past those. How do you personally break past that barrier? How do you start thinking differently? I'll show you how. You can click down there and go to landriaanka.com or you can click up here and go into my email list where uh, I have all kinds of good stuff. And there's a code down there. Start taking action. Start doing it every day. And if you find yourself going back to old habits, let's knock them out. Spend six weeks with me online at your leisure and let's hammer it out and get rid of those fears and start thinking differently, seeing the world differently, taking control, taking power back. You've always had it. You just didn't recognize it. And until you recognize it, then so it is. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I'm going to drink this full cup and then I'm going to go fill it back up again. How about you? Namaste.